It's your boy Will I Am Two Times TV, <clears throat> and we here today on a video about a young girl who was uh, invited to an Airbnb party, and she came up murdered. You know what I'm saying? Um, whoever rented or did the party, they most definitely gotta say they sides. They gotta answer to some. They gotta tell some. Some went on. Shit is crazy. I don't understand it. But yeah. And yeah, also, you know, I think she should have kept her phone running. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's crazy and sick motherfuckers that be on social media looking on the other end of cameras and stuff. But I think she should have kept her camera running so she could have seen or the world could have seen who the perpetrator or murderer or whoever the fuck. Because this is crazy. Somebody got to answer for this little baby. This crazy. Man. God bless her and her soul, and my condolences go out to the family, you know. But, um, yeah, be aware, stay close to your kids, man, and stay prayed up and protect yourself at all times. That's all I can say. And God help us. family and friends of a 16 year old who was shot to death last month gathered today not only to honor her but to call for action. Atlanta police say a teenage boy was arrested after the shooting at the Hyatt Regency but as Fox 5's Alex Whitler reports her family says that's not enough. One month ago today a 16 year old girl went to what her parents thought would be a chaperone holiday party and she never made it back home. Her parents question where the adults were during the violence and say they want to see more people face charges. Kalesia Williams parents say their goal is simple. We just want everyone to be arrested who has something to do with my daughter's death. No justice, no peace. A group of more than 20 people gathered outside the Regency Tuesday to keep the teenager's memory alive. December 26th, 16 year old Kalesia, or Pinky as family calls her, went to a holiday party. Her parents say they were told an adult would look after a group of girls at an Airbnb. She was responsible for getting the hotel room for these minors. The hotel room was in her name, so I feel like she should be held accountable for my daughter's death this way. Well. They didn't learn the group was staying at a Hyatt Regency until they received a horrific call the next day. Like This is the morgue. And I was like, the morgue? They was like, yes, ma'am. They was like, well, we're waiting on your daughter's body to come through. I'm like, whoa. Kalesia's parents say that call didn't come until 8.45 a.m. The teen was pronounced dead at 12.23 in the morning, eight hours prior. It was just a lot of foul play, and I'm just trying to put all the pieces together because I don't feel like the system is doing enough work to help me. Kalesia's mother says this is the last known video that shows her daughter alive. It shows her making a TikTok dance and appears startled when someone comes into the room. Within seconds, the video ends. I want the the surveillance footage of what happened. You know, who went in that room, who came out of that room, who was all there, what took place. I need to know what happened after she made that last TikTok video at 12.02 and she was dead at 12.23. I need answers from 12.02 to 12.23. The demonstration lasted hours and the family says it's just the beginning of their fight for Pinky. We want answers! We want justice! We're speaking to a woman who says she saw Pinky's final moments in the hotel lobby ahead at 11 on Fox 5 News Edge. Reporting in Atlanta, Alex Whitler, Fox 5 News.